Hello everyone, welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more. So today I will be demonstrating radio visiogram or ROEG, a digital x-ray. So this is uh, most commonly seen in uh, dental clinics and uh, dental colleges. Uh, newer types of clinics, uh, most of the clinics has this new facility. Uh, this is a new technology in uh, dentistry, not very new though. So digital x-ray uh, is uh, very different from conventional x-ray because it has a complete uh, different system of uh, processing and sensor. So in this video I will be uh, explaining and or demonstrating about the digital x-ray and its parts and its working. Uh, and uh, I can explain you about the difference between conventional and the digital x-ray. So let's see some uh, theory behind uh, both the x-rays that is conventional and uh, digital x-ray and the differences, the advantages of uh, the digital x-ray over conventional x-ray. So the basic difference between digital x-ray and conventional x-ray is nothing but the sensor and the processing part so the x-ray unit is almost same for both the types but the exposure rate is 70 percent reduced in case of digital x-ray or rvg so the, if it is 100 percent this is just 30 percent so 70 percent reduction in exposure and in uh, conventional x-ray we use films whereas the digital x-ray we have sensor so this has to be uh, used uh, one after one for every patient so after this in conventional x-ray we have a dark room processing where the film will be processed developed and fixed and the final image will be done after drying okay there is one more step that is known as drying we need to dry the film so all these steps are not present in our digital x-ray or rvg once the sensor capture the image directly displayed on the laptop or desktop screen so it can be viewed so this entire section is not there in the digital x-ray that's the biggest advantage because it takes a lot of time uh, dark room uh, processing developing fixing drying takes a lot of time and there are may chances of uh, faulty x-rays uh, the rest all uh, process the beginning two parts are almost same except the sensor is used in place of film so this part is not there in the digital x-ray that is the biggest advantage and the second one is the less exposure rate but this is costly compared to this is but over a long period of time this will prove as economical so this is the x-ray unit of uh, digital x-ray or rvg so it is common for both uh, conventional and digital x-ray it has an arm so this x-ray producing unit so it can be focused to patient's mouth uh, based on the angulation there is uh, angulation uh, mentioned here so we can uh, focus on the particular tooth if it is maxilla we can point towards uh, downwards and if it is uh, mandible so the you can uh, rotate this if it is mandible you can point towards mandible and you can change the angulation towards uh, the upper direction or the downward direction so according to the angulation for particular tooth so this is uh, common for both uh, the digital x-ray and conventional x-ray so as I mentioned in the theory it produces uh, almost 70 percentage less exposure compared to the conventional x-ray so the same quality of image will be produced with 30 percentage of exposure so that is the biggest uh, advantage of this x-ray because it is uh, ionizing radiation we know 
it has uh, so many disadvantages so this produces just 30 percentage of uh, conventional 30 percentage of uh, x-ray exposure compared to the conventional x-ray so this is uh, x-ray producing unit and it is it produces x-ray so we need to focus it on the particular tooth on the patient side left side or right side or upper or lower we can uh, rotate it as we uh, plan based on the particular tooth and its angulation so each tooth has uh, different angulation we can adjust the angulation by seeing here so all we need to correspond this line with the particular angulation okay so this is the inside picture of the x-ray tube so you can see the various parts of x-ray tube inside so this is most commonly will be a uh, side of uh, a dental chair uh, for the ease of uh, taking x-ray otherwise uh, we need to get the patient to x-ray room uh, both are seen in uh, different different uh, clinics uh, some clinics uh, set up a different x-ray room uh, so patient need to be uh, get to that x-ray room and take the x-ray so in this setup we can uh, take the patient uh, with a patient uh, lying on the dental chair and we can take the x-ray so so here we have a control panel uh, as you can see so it has uh, you can see it has various uh, tooth uh, symbol like molars canine anterior left canine molars similarly the lower teeth so you hope you can see so the timing uh, for each tooth will be different so this is for molar so if i press upper central the timing will be 0.11 second uh, for lower incisor it will be 0 0.9 seconds and lower canine it is 0.1 second and you can see the kilovolt uh, 70 kilovolt it is all preset all we need to do the exposure uh, by selecting the particular tooth and we have a remote here so we can press this and once we have set uh, our patient um, ready with the proper angulation of our x-ray tube we can just press this so the x-ray will be done the exposure will be done so that is uh, common for our conventional and uh, radio visiogram so this is uh, the sensor unit in rvg or uh, digital x-ray we have x-ray films in uh, our conventional x-ray so this is the capturing unit so we keep this uh, sensor in patient's mouth uh, on uh, whichever tooth we need so we keep the sensor behind the particular tooth and do the exposure so this is the difference uh, major difference between the conventional x-ray and the digital x-ray because the capturing unit is different so in conventional x-ray we need to uh, use one x-ray film for every patient or every tooth and if something goes wrong we need to uh, take the second film but here it can be used for an infinite times because it is digitally producing images so there is uh, no need of the second sensor only one sensor for all the images and for all the patients only thing we need to uh, keep a cover over this so we need to put this cover for each patient so this way like uh, we put the sensor into patient's mouth on a particular tooth and do the exposure so in conventional x-ray after the film exposure we go to the dark room we do uh, the processing of x-ray we need a dark room and we need uh, different solutions like developer uh, water and uh, fixer solution 
so in the dark room we have developer fixer all the solutions so that need to be uh, replaced in very short interval of time so that is a problem for uh, conventional x-ray and uh, there are many things which might go wrong inside the developing process uh, we might put the x-ray film uh, into the developer or fixer for a longer period for a shorter period we won't get a proper x-ray but all the problems are solved here if we take a proper angulation and do the exposure we'll get a uh, almost perfect image so all we need to do is to put a plastic cover over this to um, maintain the infection protocol so this rvg sensor is always connected to the laptop using a usb cable so this is rvg sensor usb cable so it comes like this so it has a separate uh, sensor and a usb cable so we connect this usb cable to the laptop where this software has been installed you can see a white dot on uh, left upper corner of this sensor so this is uh, this is the image capturing unit or x-ray capturing uh, side of this sensor it will not uh, produce any x-ray if we keep this side towards the tooth so always this should be towards the x-ray tube or before the tooth if you are keeping like this it is just a cast we have no patience uh, right now so we should keep the sensor behind the tooth like this and produce x-ray from here okay so image will be captured here of the particular tooth so we have angulation and specifications for this so just for a uh, example we always keep this white side behind this particular tooth not the opposite side should always keep the so that's why this point is kept here white point and we produce x-ray from here so we get the image of this tooth so this is only image capturing side not this side it's a one uh, a digital x-ray which we captured previously so I just show you the uh, monitor setup of a digital x-ray so once the uh, image is produced we have uh, many options on the right bottom side we have a control panel so you have various options you can change this can uh, alter the contrast by changing the this diagonal uh, line then you have this particular period view it is mainly for highlighting the bones and other structures this is known as end of view and this is for dentino enamel junction and we have sharpness filters so you can change the sharpness similar way can change it uh, accordingly so you can see the sharpness or the contrast is getting changed you can see I am changing the diagonal that particular a red, uh, red line okay so we have many such options we can uh, you can duplicate the image we can send the image uh, we can uh, alter it we can uh, view in very different format so we can enhance the image quality so that's all not possible in a conventional x-ray so we have many options on the less, uh, left side so we can change the angulation 90 degree 180 degree so this is we can uh, edit the annotation we can do the edit whatever we can uh, what we want to put we can edit it we can close it here 
so next options we can see sudo a 3d image we get uh, this is a 3d image so we have many options we can do uh, analysis if you want some densitometric analysis so there are various uh, various options in uh, digital x-ray unlike conventional x-ray so this is how uh, we take and we process a digital x-ray so there is a lot of advantages over the conventional x-ray for digital x-ray that is less exposure producing the same quality of image we can uh, use the same sensor for every patient every tooth and uh, the image can be enhanced it can be altered the contrast can be changed we can view uh, in a very varieties of way so all these are the advantages but uh, there is one disadvantage i think the since it can be manipulated the digital um, x-rays are uh, the legal uh, on a legal point of view uh, the acceptance as a uh, acceptance as a report to produce in a court is uh, out of question so that's all about uh, digital x-ray i have shown you the x-ray unit uh, the control panel the sensor instead of the x-ray films uh, it is connected to the laptop or desktop so we have the image and so the image can be stored uh, and uh, can be sent to patients via email so digital x-ray is always better than conventional x-ray because of the less exposure and uh, the less time taken for the processing because there is no processing actually all we need to do the exposure and view it in the laptop screen or desktop screen so that's all about um, radio visiogram or digital x-ray so i'll come with a new topic in my next session thank you